Hello and welcome back. When you showed me last, we were being threatened by the Lakota, who are sending me nasty messages, uh, usually backed up with military action. But considering they've got the Mongols over there, they're looking pretty, pretty vicious next to the capital over there. You would have thought they'd have better things to worry about, like you know, clearing out the Mongols. But you know, whatever. Um, they sent me a message uh, from the Lakota. Your bungling attempts at conquest grow less amusing with time. We've had enough of your foolishness. Which I thought was rather unfair considering the vast size of my empire. I think it was a fairly uh, decent attempt at world conquest. Um, we've just got everywhere south of the front line, at the very least. Uh, we go by the Dakota uh, to Yucatan. Now look at that, that's one army there, one army there, size 5, whatever. No, I don't need extra tech. This is this is a ridiculous battle. And I, re I refuse to take it too seriously. I mean, it's not not too far away from my capital. But seriously, we're going to the capital province. Well, they're going to use the Aztec as the fealty, so they're taking it seriously. Uh, being invaded by a treacherous neighbour. Right, look at all this stuff that I've uh, I've started out with. got to sort of get these places into a reasonable economic shape. Of course the computer placed everything, the computer does, you know, a bad job of that kind of thing. Oh, it placed, placed the mine all the way over there, what was that all about? Anyway, this is what it looks like uh, when you built up your territory and you're the defender. It's uh, yeah, pretty, pretty nifty, all built. Defense just that little bit easier, but uh, to make it easier still, I'm going to build a keep there. And when I get the metal, I keep over there, and that will sort of pretty much lock down these two cities. Conquest, you're pretty knackered with the whole format of you know, building stuff up, and then somebody invades you, and you're immediately forced to counter attack. I want to go to university, what am I doing? I mean, I've just finished a battle, I've just finished building up a wonderful economy, conquering everywhere on, uh, on the map, and now I'm expected to do it again, or at least waste 90 minutes of my time making sure they don't. You just have a horrible way to win, really boring. With all these advantages, if you can't win, I've already got a market. Uh, two merchants and a caravan, then, please. I mean, I've started with all of this, and if I can't sort of hold them off for 90 minutes, it really is quite appalling. Oh, 
I think that's the first and last and only time that you ever see uh, wood go for less than less than a hundred. Well, the scout's finally gone outside my own territory. Just need to ask. I've already mapped. I don't know what my own territory looks like. Thank you very much. I've taken a lot of people to Garrison Juice. See, that leaves us with <laughs> a pikeman, a light horseman, and a supply wagon. I'm just going to sort of completely disregard that defence by building two, two new cities to make a frontier. Actually, I may put this one in a more secure location. Actually, there's a help with that. I'm winning. So, oh, do we have, do we have a stable? We already, we already have a stable. Smashing. Killed my scout. That was fairly comprehensive. And destroyed my city. That was fairly comprehensive. Why pick on someone your own side? As soon as, as, soon as I find an army that size. Oh, I can afford more than I uh, more than thought. Well, oh, these reinforcements, cool. Right, everyone sort of run to Chrissy Chrissy Bamba. And we'll let the fortifications take care of them, because I foresaw your coming. Not with you being the only opponent, and it's your job to take my capital, and not the other way around. Oh sure, I'll take out the silver merchant. Two, then two, and I've got myself a line of defence just in case. Which makes this line of defence rather, you know, rather useless, unnecessary. And for some reason, I only have one citizen working a mine, and there he is.
down here and that makes that basically cuts that off. You build an anchorage. Uh, just just so it looks you know, complete. The cursor removed the removed the capital. Productive. It does mean they've only just got around to building a uh, capital building, which, if you recall, is something I started with. Oh, not again. Senator. Get over there, your troops need you. time just yeah, preparing the defences ready for the uh ready for the assault. Ah now you built then uh, you can go.
This is mainly military term, but mostly going to get it. Oh, it's already got university. <coughs> well, I finally seem fit to uh, move forward and attack. What an embarrassment. actually see his borders. Uh, I can only see my own. But given that I've got a certain there's a certain strength to my uh, my border push, I don't really need to see his borders. I just look for where mine aren't. Kill a couple of them citizens. Not so hard to call blood you understand, just you know in terms of sustainable population growth. City. Why don't I give it some docks as well? Just you know, it looks pleasant. <sighs> I realise now that I should have been concentrating on other things. successful. Uh, you move in and build a temple. Build some, uh, buy some wood and then bring in some more troops. Need another merchant to take advantage of the marble. Papyrus even. This is where my boundary comes to, even without taking this city. It goes up to right over there. I'd like to thank the uh, Lakota for the free tribute. I think mean, tribute's always free, isn't it? It gets given to you. <laughs> straight away but I just want to see what the, uh, what the borders look like when this assimilates. There we go. That's fairly conclusive. You'll notice he's still in the gunpowder age so this feels unfairly easy. And again it's his fault for attacking. I didn't really think was going to happen. In fact I'm going to try a novel approach. Always doing a counter attack. Uh, bit too little, bit too late. Not so we're sort of attacking in a kind of a single file kind of thing.
Now I don't know if that's good tactics on my part or just sheer numerical and technological superiority. I, I, I you know, I guess the latter. Because it's just, it's just so backward. Oh, here we go. We can destroy his. Um, Okay, so it's probably not the best of investments, but at least I'm sort of knocking out his production facility. I destroyed something that looks like it could have been a supply one. I'm uh, led to ask the question, what was a supply wagon do? Oh, get rid of that tower. building stuff up. back and enjoy this moment. I don't actually know where the other cities are, so I can't do that thing again where I try to beat the clock. Hmm. No, he's, he's got more than that. I think he's got one over here as well. Yeah, he's got a city over here. And a city over here, so I won't be able to do that. Just got to sit here and get comfortable. I mean, it was a, it's a very, it's a pl pleasantly easy game after some of the tough battles we've had so far. But trouble is, it doesn't really mean much in terms of strategic map. I reached my city limits of 7 out of 7. Uh, quick last minute research. Oh, so I said it counts towards the score. Uh, Turn to Japan and. I think that's it. Turn to Japan. And. That's who's a G. Ah, uh, well, that was that was all very, all very simple, very civilized. Uh, I think it's safe to say I wouldn't let hands down. It lost 15 units. I guess you could say that's 15 too many, especially for their uh, for their wives and children. I mean, the uh, the widows back home, widows and orphans back home. But in the end, they, they knew what they you know, they knew what they came over, what they signed up for, when they. I don't know, they wouldn't. If you're saying, well, we've got a very sort of sturdy defence, we just need some people to man the defences, you'd feel really, you know, aggrieved if you got killed in the sort of line of duty when. You know, sort of, I don't know, four, 14 other people have got killed with you. Well, the tragic, really. So, this is the timeline, nice and short. Um, only 22 minutes. Let's see what I'll do to the strategic map. Nice, there's a bit of 50 tributes. And the world has advanced the Enlightenment Age. I love the Enlightenment Age. To a degree. 
Mongols captured Acadia. So there are the Mongols are really posing a threat to the Lakota now. And um, he still wants to attack me. Defeats. I, I know this. I know this one. I just want to read it in the news feed. The Lakota captured the, uh, the Lakota invaded the Inca at Yucatan and failed. Failed miserably, I'll be added. Well, yeah, I've purchased, purchased a territory strength upgrade uh, for Mexico. I don't know why. I'm not, I'm not going that way. There's no point. Right, so what's next? Um, I think next time I'm going to take out the Spanish. Uh, they weren't expected. I take out the French. Then take out the Mongols. And then the Lakota. So that will take me to the industrial age if all goes well, and I'll be left with so many turns to spare. It's uh, it's not funny. <laughs> well, it's quite funny. So if I get a compass, uh, another sabotage card, and a treachery card, and I can't afford anymore. shake things up. Two treachery cards there, take out the Lakota. Hmm. The possibilities are endless. treasury cards to take that out and then that out. He's only got one army. So he's not going to be able to... Plus there's uh, deeper pills there which leads to free scouts and merchants. There's one thing I like, it like it's scouts and merchants. Now, are there any cards that I might be able to take from my territory? Uh, they were good ones. Stuff like uh, Wonder of the World. I'm all for them. I'm not going to get any of my territory. Now there's uh, very little left. So it's all a case of how do we want to go about winning this game. Um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, the, the, the paths to victory are all very clear. It's just a case of. In what order and you know how how efficiently can we do it? Just give us sort of a lowdown. These are sort of the cards that we've got. We've got one, two, three, four, four sabotages, two treacheries. So that's the one, two, take out the Lakota. If nothing else, just for a bit of justice. Um, that's quite a good one. But largely unnecessary now, thanks to all the rare resources I have. Sabotages, it means that a lot of the 
final battle, so probably knock that down to a four. Oh, I could knock that down to a six, that down to a six. Down to a six. the Spanish not bother using your conquest because they've got the rare resources, they don't want to build in front of you as quickly as I can. Uh, use a couple on the French. Uh, one on the Mongols and one on the Dakota. But this is all this is all, you know, for another this is for another time. So I will I will cut the game there and I will see you next video.